going to do a quick little test today. I'm going to compare CCI's 22 Stinger 32 grain hollow point rated at 1640 feet per second against Aguila's uh, super maximum hollow point which is a 30 grain at 1700 feet per second uh, claim. So this is a 12 inch block. Uh, it's 10% ballistics gel. They both should stay in the block because they're a relatively light round going really fast so they don't have that much penetration so we should be able to retain both bullets um, so I'll get to it I'll shoot one on one side and one on the other and we'll see how they uh, compare so I'm just going to stand back about six or eight feet from the block and I'll be using my Ruger 1022 all right first up on the left hand side CCI Stinger So there's your entry. Ooh, it curved a little. I shot these a little higher than the previous tests I've been doing so we could see it a little better. There's the side. I don't know how this flashlight doesn't really help. Look at that massive tear. That's like, yeah. We're gonna dissect this when we're done here. And uh, unlike in the other videos where I didn't think about it, We'll measure the uh, tears. Go ahead. Other way. Well, I guess that works. Just a hair over eight inches of penetration there from the CCI mini uh, mini mag <laughs> stinger. All right, now we'll do the same thing on the right side with the Aguila Super Maximum. That one's right there. About seven and a quarter or a hair over. And there's the two from the top. By the way, sorry about all the crap in the block. Uh, I tried to strain it, didn't really work. It kind of just went right through my strainer, but. Uh, I'm going to get some cheesecloth, so I should be able to strain it through that and catch all that stuff next time. So I pretty much cut that in the middle of where the largest expansion is, about an inch in here. And there's that. They look pretty much about the same. And we got about an inch and uh, three quarters on that one there at the widest point. I can't see from the angle on that. What's that, about a little over an inch and a half? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Let me try it this way. Inch and a half, inch and three quarters there from that tip. So about the same. So take another layer. We'll come around here first. All right. So they're about two, two and a half inches, roughly. 
something like that. Looks like it's remaining about the same. That's entry. And that would be the exit of that section, which uh, I can see the splits, especially on this one, which is the uh, Gorilla, but much larger on the front side. Whereas on the back side, they're starting to get a little smaller there. About an inch and a half, a little under. This one's still split all the way through on the back. They could learn how to handle a tape measure. Oh wow, split's actually bigger now on the back, almost two inches on the back side from the stinger there. Yeah, that, that stinger seems to have a much larger tear further in. About an inch or a hair under. That one's about a inch and a quarter. Get that off of there. Not very much damage at this point, as you can see. I don't think I really need to measure those. The stinger is still a little larger. There's nothing really to measure there. I guess a little bit there I can measure. Whatever that comes out to, I can't see it from the angle. And let's see how far that is. Right here, I'll set it on. So at about, by about six inches in, they're pretty much done with all that explosive power. Just gonna be pretty much straight channels from here. So I'm gonna cut right behind this one. So you can't even really see anything there. It's it's basically sealed back up. Pretty much the same there for that one. Now that's about as far as that one went there, the Aguila. It's just right under the surface there, whereas the stinger is in there at least another inch. So Take another slice here so I can access both of them. We'll pull them out and see how they look. So let me pop them out here and we'll take a look at them. Alright, so we got them out here. On the left is your stinger. On the right is the uh, Super Maximum. I'm sure both of them definitely lost some pieces of themselves in there. It looks like the Stinger lost a little more. Um, you can see that skirt there. I think that skirt hanging on is why that one penetrated a decent amount less because it had more uh, surface area there to drag some more pieces must have came off the stinger because remember the stinger is actually a larger bullet it's a 32 grain whereas the super maximum is a 30 grain so but um the stinger definitely penetrated further as far as damage goes they they both did pretty much the same but uh from the measurements it looks like the stinger did a little more and then in succession front to uh Next slice and next slice, there's the very front piece. Second piece. Third piece. So after this video, I'll be comparing the um, CCI Velocitor to the 
Aguila Interceptor. Uh, they're direct competition to each other like these two rounds were. Uh, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Click all to receive notifications when I post. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and I'll catch you guys on the next one.